Hi everyone, welcome to a new video from Not Real Engineering. This is the sixth video in the series Python scripting in Abacus tutorials. And in this video, we are going to see how to create random inclusions using Python scripting, but in 3D RVE. Few months back, I uploaded this video where we created random inclusions in RVE using again Python scripting, but in two dimensional case. And I got many requests to create a similar video for three dimensional keys. So that's why we are doing this. If you did not watch that video, please see it first. The link is in the description box below. That will make it much easier to understand this video. In this video's Python script, we are going to create a cubical RVE, which will have spherical inclusions randomly distributed inside it. We are going to create these inclusions by using partition command. There are other ways to do it as well, but I feel this is the easiest way to do it. And in the script, we are going to write a separate function for this partition, which makes the script much more efficient and easier to understand. I'm not going to focus on meshing much. Therefore, I'm using just free mesh with tet elements. And script is of course capable of doing multiple number of iterations as well, as we saw in an earlier video. Now, few things we should keep in mind is the inclusions should never overlap with each other or also they should not get cut by the boundary. We can create RVE where inclusions are getting cut by the boundary, but that will be much complicated. So I'm going to do a separate video on that. In this video, we are going to consider inclusions are not touching the boundary of RVE. We will also maintain some distance between any two inclusions. And also there will be distance between inclusion and boundary. So inclusion will not even touch the boundary. This some distance is kept because there should not be any problems while meshing. And this addition of inclusion process will continue until desired volume fraction is reached. I'm keeping very simple material models for this problem because that is not the aim of this video. For matrix material, I'm using elastic model with Young's modulus as 100 megapascal and Poisson's ratio 0.47. And for inclusions, I'm using Young's modulus as 1000 megapascal, which means inclusions are much stiffer than matrix and Poisson's ratio is 0.35. This Python script is already available for you to download from this channel's GitHub profile. You can find the link in the description box below. Now let's see how this Python script looks. I will briefly explain how this script works and then we will start Abacus CAE and run this script. First, as usual, there are a bunch of imports. Then this parameter defines radius of inclusion. You can change this as of now I am keeping two millimeters. Then this is the function which actually does partitions. If I expand on it, you can see this is the function. We will come back to this function when it is called in this script. Here you can set maximum number of iterations. When it is set to two, it will create only one model. So if I change it to four, it will create three models. Then maximum number of inclusions you can set over here. As of now, I have set it to 15 means there will be 15 inclusions inside RVE. And this is the big for loop, which will create different models depending on how many maximum iterations you set. First, we start with creating model and you can see over here the model name has parameter in it. So this parameter Q is our counter for this loop. Therefore, the model name will change every time and models will not get overwritten. This section over here creates a matrix, which is a cube with side 20 mm. The next is the crux of this script from here all the way up to here. Here first, we have some counter, which is number of inclusions. This will give us how many number of inclusions are already created. So we'll initiate that with zero in every model. Then there are three empty lists which will contain the center of any inclusions, which we will create. Then in this while loop, we are creating one point inside RVE. And these are the coordinates of that point, X coordinate, Y coordinate and Z coordinate. And you can see that point will be always in between 3.3 to 16.7. This means although we create inclusion at this point, it will never touch the boundary and there will be some gap. This you can change, you can adjust how much you want. You can even put a parameter over here so that it will depend on the radius of inclusion. But as of now, this is hard coded. This is not a good practice. So please change it and make it function of radius. Then once the center of inclusion is created, we will check if it is intersecting with existing inclusions or not. For that, we will check its distance from all the inclusions which are already there in RVE. To do that, I'm calculating the distance and we will see if that distance is less than 2.2 times of radius. 2.2 because we don't want any inclusions to touch each other. If you are okay with touching them each other, it can be just two times radius. If the distance is less than this distance, then we will change this parameter to true, which will break the loop. If this condition is not satisfied, then this parameter will remain false and which means inclusion is not intersecting with any inclusions. Therefore, we will accept that inclusion and we will add it 
to this empty list. And when we add any inclusion to this list, we will also increase the number of inclusion counter, which we initiated over here by one. So that now we know there is one inclusion. This will keep on going until the number of inclusions are equal to maximum number of inclusions. This maximum number of inclusions, you set it over here. So when the number of inclusion is also 15, then this loop will stop. And once we have this list ready of all 15 inclusions coordinate, we will call this partition function for 15 times and we will partition those 15 inclusions from the RVE. Therefore here, when this partition function is called, we will go over here. This is kind of a tedious process, but in short, what we are doing is first, we are creating two datum planes. These are the planes which are perpendicular to each other. Let me explain it over here. So first we will create two planes which are perpendicular to each other. One will be like this. Another will be, let's say like this. Then will we create a semicircle on this vertical plane, something like this. And also we will create a circle on this horizontal plane. And then we will sweep this geometry along this horizontal circle by 360 degrees. So if we sweep this half circle by 360 degrees, we will get a complete sphere. So that's what we are doing in this partition function. Then next is pretty simple. As we saw in earlier videos, we will create one material, which I'm naming as matrix, which is polymer. Then we will create another material. Then we will create sections. We will assign those section. So first we will assign one section to the matrix. And then we have to assign the section to inclusions. So that will be in a for loop. And our inclusion is actually divided into two half semispheres. Therefore, we are assigning these two times. Then we are creating instance, creating just static general step, then boundary condition. We are applying roller boundary conditions on three faces of this RVE, where X is zero, where Y is zero, and where Z is zero. So these three faces have roller support. And then we will apply a displacement boundary condition on this X equal to 20 plane. And we will just pull this face in positive X direction. Once boundary conditions are applied, we will seed the part. I'm seeding all part by same size. In next video, maybe we can apply different seed size for inclusions, but here I'm keeping it same for everything. Then we will set element type. Again, we have to repeat this process for every inclusion. Therefore, there is this for loop. Here we are setting mesh technique to free. This also we have to apply to all inclusions. Again, inclusion has two parts. That's why two times and then generate the mesh. Finally, we are creating a job. While creating job also, I'm keeping this parameter Q in the job name. Therefore, jobs will not get overwritten. And at the end, we are writing input file and submitting the job. This last command will tell Abacus to wait to submit next job until first job is completed. I have commented out over here, but you should just remove these comments while submitting the script. Now let's run this script without submitting these jobs. Let's start with Abacus CAE. First set your working directory and then go into run script. Select the script and say OK. So you can see three models are created and three jobs are created. This is the model number one. Let me hide these planes. And also let's make this wireframe. So you can see inside there are 15 inclusions. If you see the mesh and if you see other models, everything else will be same, but the inclusion locations will be changed. Now let's submit this job one. A few moments later. And these are the results. Here to see inside, we can use this view cut and then you can change this section plane and you can see the, all those inclusions. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. If you are interested in learning Abacus more, you can check out this channel. There are many other videos about Abacus. All the codes which I use on this channel are also uploaded on channel's GitHub profile. You can directly download them from here. And the link of GitHub profile is included in the description box below. And as always, thank you for watching.